little windy out here today. Now so we're headed out this morning to a new spot that we've never been to before. We'll try it out. It's just a quick little trip, uh, just a couple hours from our house. It's called uh, Great Escape Chestnut Bay RV Resort, and they have cabins there too. It's in uh, Leesburg, Alabama. So stay tuned. with you in morning light you hear my story oh and it's good to have a friend like you there are times there are times there are times when I want to be lonely there are times when life say he does all right, i'm coming i'm coming all right it's our second day here we checked in yesterday um me and charles gonna go for a little spin around the park kind of show you around there's a lot of i know there's a lot of he's bored i guess there's a lot of uh cabins and stuff here it's pretty cool they're more overall by the lake but there's some sites over here i'll show you all right so let's, let's go check it out folks this is all. This is your lake wise, so there's a 
a lot of people that go fishing out here, as they say, this is the crappy capital of the world. I've heard that from a few people. So it's a pretty good size crappy. I said, I think the record is like five pounds, which is pretty big for a crappy. There's a couple of pull throughs right here. Hit the center and then some back ends over here on this side. And let's see, this. I don't have the map in front of me, but the map looks to have a lot. Yeah, that's 405 right there. So these are the 400s. The Wi Fi here is really good. I'm, I'm very impressed with the Wi Fi so far. I have it hooked up to our wine guard, uh, which is the best way to go, the safest way to go. And here's some 500s, 502s, some back ends right here. Now, one thing I will say where we're at, let me be quiet for this, see if you can hear it. You hear the roosters? I don't know if you can hear that, but they're constantly crowing all day long. We have chickens at home, but we don't have any roosters, so we don't hear that too much. Sure, you stepped on the gas pedal, buddy. You in a hurry? Shut up. He loves his golf cart. All right. We'll go down to this other section and check it out. So you can see the lake down there in the background. Hang out down there. Check out this little section here. I don't think they're done developing them yet. These are pretty, pretty level. We've got a car coming behind us. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. I think I said, how you doing? I think I meant to say, how you doing? He knows what I meant. How you really want to talk to a cow? Anyway, all right, so as you can see, these are pretty new and it looks like they're still building down this way. It's like a laundry, possibly a bathhouse, too. I'm not sure, but I know there's laundry in there as well. Laundry room right there. And you can hear the roosters. And they don't do this in the morning. They do this in the morning and then all day and probably all night. But I didn't hear them overnight because I was inside the camper.
Tour the uh, well, you already had a tour. I haven't. I've been well, not a working tour. out and working. <laughs> not a complete tour yet. We still got some more ground to cover. And then after I work, I gotta work on the Blackstone so we can eat. That's the most important part. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm ready for it. <laughs> Me too. Hey, we're here at Chestnut Bay in Leesburg, Alabama, and this is the Great Escapes Resort, which has RV sites and cabins, over 30 cabins. We're at one of the cabins right now. They're so pretty. They smell new, and they have just wonderful materials that they've built with them. So let's go in and check it out. So we are in a queen and bunk cabin right now. Like I said, there are over 30, but they have maybe four or five different types that sleep from anywhere from maybe two to four all the way on up to eight. And this one, since you've got the bunks, you have a nice option for families. Let's come on in, it's a little windy. So right in here, this is our first time in it. So you're checking this cabin out for the first time with us. You've got a nice TV right here. How many inches is this TV? Scotty's usually good at that. About 40, 50, maybe. 50 inch, 50 inch TV. Beautiful pine wood everywhere. It smells gorgeous in here, fresh, like new. Mm. Um, you've got your microwave, your gas stove, if you like to cook with gas like me. You have your um, sink and no garbage disposal, but a fire extinguisher. All of your dishes are out, so self-explanatory there. A coffee maker and a fridge with an ice maker so you can have a regular old party in here you got your ice let's check in here and see what we've got we've got a beautiful bathroom full bathroom 
You've got your sink with a lot of space, ca uh, counter space, so that you can store things. Fresh towels, so you don't need to bring those. They are white, so if you want to remove makeup, make sure you get some towels that are dark and bring those with you. I don't usually have that problem. But... <laughs> and then you've got this beautiful shower with awesome fixtures here and um, some ledges for you to store your items while you stay. You can be very comfortable in this cabin if you don't have an RV or you have family members who don't have an RV and are traveling with you. Let's check out the bunk room. So the bunk room has four twin beds, it looks like. So it sleeps four, which really maximizes your stay. You've got the queen bedroom on the opposite side of the entry. And you can have either four kids or two adults and two kids at the top here. And a beautiful view of the lake out yeah. here. I don't know if you can get it, Scotty. I think so. But the lake's to the right. Yep. Yep. And more cabins. Yeah. This is neat. Nice view. Mm -hmm. Like hogwire. Yep. And right now, as of today, when I checked the website, you're looking at anywhere from 179 on up for these cabins. This one in particular is probably not 179, but you want to check the website for the most current pricing. I like what they did here with the industrial fixtures. These are hooks, I assume, so that you can place your coats in your maybe your uh, lake equipment on the hooks while you're here. Let's check out the queen room. Lots of good storage space in here. I'm getting ideas for our cabin too. <laughs> you have a nice little bench here. You've got another TV in the queen bedroom. And this one looks more like a 30 inch. 32. Yeah. 32. And then you have your uh, heating split and air. Unit, yeah. It's a split unit. So you're not going to be cold in the winter or on a 59 degree day like today. You've got cute little nightstand ledges here, which I love. And you can charge your phone overnight while you use this ledge. Good lighting, mm -hmm. reading, Switch on each side, yeah. storage right here. I don't know if you captured that. A lot more looking thing. Mm -hmm. With drawers. So you can stay a full week in here with all those towels and this storage and be good. I think this is awesome. So this is a nice alternative to RV camping. Let's go check out another one. So this is a hydrangea model, which is similar to the one that we showed you with the bunkhouse that was called the Yellow Hammer. This one has a very big full-sized futon with great composite almost wood right here, it feels like, so very durable, but can sleep two additional people. So you have two in the queen room, four in the bunk area, yeah, and then another two can sleep on the futon. And the layout is very similar with the kitchen mm -hmm. setup, coffee maker, yeah. bathroom with linens. Yep. And the cleaning is on Great Escapes, if you come and pay for your stay, they'll take care of the cleaning so you don't have to do that. Check out this view. Did you get the view? Uh, well, I am now. <laughs> we are in another sweet home cabin, but this one has an enclosed screen in porch, which is really pretty because you get that nice view of the lake without the lake mosquitoes in the nice. summertime. You can chill out on the deck right here. Like Ty was doing. Yes. <laughs> and uh, just people watch. Yep. But this sweet home cabin is a little different, not only because of the screened in porch, but it also has a loft, which is something that the other sweet home cabin didn't. So this one sleeps an additional, well, no, it's kind of like the other one, except it's not a bunkhouse. It sleeps four people upstairs in the loft as opposed two to the bunkhouse. Yeah. Two queen beds are up there instead of two twins. So you have your layout that's slightly different, cool furniture. Yep. You've got your couch on one side and then you have a little um seating area here where you can read you have your gas television. stove you have um a vent and then you also have a smaller microwave than the other cabins here Three. a toaster oh yeah a smaller fridge than the other one this one also has an ice maker I like though. how it's built into the wall it's cool mm -hmm. it does and you got your industrial fixtures right here cute little benches i love these little benches they mm -hmm. have and then here okay so we've got a bunk, a set of two bunks instead of a set of four bunks. Mm -hmm. You have lighting here, but I don't see where to turn that on, so I won't. Right there you go. So you can get a good look at it. I'll let you go into the bathroom and get a look. Turn the light Is on. there a light on the bathroom? The bathroom's pretty similar. I was just going to let you show the bunk. Yeah. Oh, I got you. I can do that. Mm -hmm. 
So the bunks are in the middle of the hallway here. There's a little less privacy than the bunk house being at the back of the cabin like the other one. So that's something to keep in mind if you wanted to do a sweet home cabin that had the loft. Your kids might want to be here. Mm -hmm. And then back here, you have another queen set up with the same access to outlets and lighting overnight. So you can read or take care of things in the middle of the night and not be in the dark. You've got your armoire here like last time as well with hangers, your television, and a place where you can put your luggage and also sit and put on your shoes or your hiking boots. It's a very hilly um, resort, but it's pretty. Mm -hmm. And let's go up to the loft and see what that looks like. Yes. So as you head up to the loft, you have some stairs. They're a little steep, but there's a rail here. Don't hit your head, Scotty. I already did that <laughs> I just today. did too. See, there you're talking about me. Uh, so I'm going to sit here and maybe crawl over here while you Ooh, follow yeah, me. Your head. Yep. So you, you don't want to wake up from a bad nightmare really don't quick. Wake up fast. Sure. Because you will get hurt. But there is a nice view right here of the lake. Oh, let me see. And it's almost worth having a crouch. Boom. Oh while you're up here oh yeah right wake up to that uh, the screen's kind of distorting it but if you have a family with nice. small children this would be a perfect one for you because you've got that bunk set up and you also have the queen set up for the parent and up here i think a smaller child wouldn't be so uh much in pain if they had <laughs> to have a low roof but it's still beautiful mm -hmm. and i i would spend less time up here and more time out there at the water park or at the lake. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let me see if I can go down these stairs without falling. <laughs> oh gosh, that'd be a good blooper though. Yeah. If you survive. Right. So that was fun. That was the third cabin, sweet home with the screened in porch and the loft. Now we're at the wheelchair accessible Talladega unit. This one's really nice. This cabin is open for people who have to have more space when they come in with a wheelchair. There is a futon here that sleeps too, right here in the main living area. You have a nice big fridge. And one thing I've noticed is that the counter uh, height is lower for people who have uh, the necessity of accessing things. You've got your stove, your vent, your standard microwave and a traditional coffee maker. And I guess, yeah, this is your traditional coffee maker, no K-cup edition. So that's something to think about. When we go away to Florida and we stay at our condo down there, we always bring a little K-cup uh, coffee maker because they have a traditional coffee maker as well. Something to remember. This one I'm noticing also has good pantry storage as well. So you can bring lots of food items or things that somebody who needs um, storage for their items, their luggage or their medical equipment, it can go right here. And this area is nice and open spaced, but also you can close it off. It's the bathroom, but you can close that off for privacy as necessary. And it also has storage for your blankets and your towels. The cabinet space is not here like the other units because this allows somebody to roll right up with their wheelchair and be able to do their take care of their needs without the interference of a cabinet. Very thoughtful. You've got your rails here for security. And then you also have a nice shower, nice and big, and you just roll right in, roll right out, no threshold. And then this queen sleeps another two. So this cabin will sleep up to four and you have uh a, actually this is probably is it a queen or a full yeah, it is a queen it's a queen yeah feels like a queen and then you have drawers over here so the last unit had or three units we saw had armoires this has drawers something to keep a in mind in chest drawer, yeah. mm -hmm. or dresser if you will. yes and then a nice open space here for you to deposit your luggage or your wheelchair or your medical equipment Heating and air. Very nice. Everything's new. It smells great in here. So if you come, you're probably going to be one of the first people. I think they've been here now for over a little over a year. So you would be one of the first people to stay here.
I hope you enjoy it. You have another screened in porch with the Weiss model. Lake Weiss is where we're facing. You have this beautiful area that overlooks the path. Want to come in, Tyler? Have a seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you stay at one of these? What do you think? I like them. You like them? How do they smell? Good. Fresh and new, right? Fresh so you've got this nice new deck here and mm. a couch. Similar mm. furniture to the other places that we've shown you already. This, this living area feels a little bit larger. You've got the TV on this end with the seating area, living, uh, living room, furniture, couch versus the futon that you saw in the others. Cooking space, which is large, higher counters than the ADA accessible one, the wheelchair accessible cabin. And you have your typical bathroom area over here, fridge over here with the ice maker, pantry storage, and you have your queen bedroom with the armoire like the others. And the only difference is the Weiss model has the observation deck as well as the screened in porch with the picnic table. And then I'm looking up here and I see another bunkhouse, I think. Yeah, it looks like it's two queens. There you go. Here you, go. <laughs> you got the two queens, a nice view on this side of Lake Weiss yeah. or Weiss Lake. Which one is it? Weiss Lake or Lake Weiss? Lake Weiss. It's pretty. Yeah. Likewise. Likewise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very pretty. Love, love, love. All right. So from the RV and cabin side, take this tunnel under the road and take you over to the lake. Huh? Under the tunnel. Beep, beep. <laughs> I don't have a <laughs> This section is for private owners of these lake homes. At Chestnut Bay. These are the original Chestnut Bay residents. And Chestnut Bay, we just learned, was named after the Chestnut family that owned this land. And now they built several, a couple hundred, I bet, or a, a few, almost a hundred homes. And it's a community, has a community pool. But again, these are privately owned and Great Escapes actually owns the lakefront and shares it with the Chestnut Bay community. Not sure if they fully own it, but they have ownership of it as well as your uh, lakefront property owners. Yeah, I think you said they own just a little middle section right here, just so that people who stay at the RV resort and cabin have access to the lake right here. Okay. So. Like right over here, a little beach area and that little dock right there and area that you can have Very cool. To. So you can actually play beach volleyball. Yeah. You've got fishing. It is crappy season in spring, and that's when fishing season starts for people who like that kind of thing. You don't like crappy fishing? I'm trying not to get the kids or the families to respect their privacy. So that's your lake frontage. Here's the amphitheater. Oh, it's a cute little observation deck over here too. Mm -hmm. and a little theater seating down there. And yeah. so little... It'd be a fun movie night. Yeah, pretty cool. All right. Yes. They've got good directional signs here too to help you navigate around. Because there are a lot of things to do. You've got the RV site. You've got the office with the gift shop in it. And we've got cafes in the summertime. Um, that starts Memorial Day weekend along with the water park. And, this, and go this, ahead, Scott. I was gonna say this area right here is not open during the off season. I think you said all oh, this will open Memorial Day Memorial Day week well, I, weekend. I just you did say that, didn't you? I sure but did. I think it's something like a soft open like the week before. Yeah. So this one's called Shipwrecks. This yeah. cafe. They got water in there now. They didn't have water in there earlier, so they're getting it ready. Yeah, looks pretty. The water running in there. Now it's back to the gravely train.
looking like a crazy I'm videoing you. What did you I do? You, you cock a doodle dude? We cooking rooster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, why do I still hear on this? We made it back for our quick little trip over to Alabama to uh, Great Escape um, Chestnut, Chestnut Bay. Bay Chestnut Bay RV Resort. That was a fun uh, little trip. What'd you think? It was. It's quick. It's less than two hours for us from where we are. It's about eighty miles west. Well, eighty miles from Atlanta from us. It's about sixty miles for us. Yeah, it could go from an hour and a half to two hours depending on where you're from in Georgia. Mm -hmm. But worth the trip. It actually is north of us, even though it's in Alabama, which is usually west but uh close to tennessee close to the mountains right yeah, of tennessee and north carolina i think you said the mountain right there where we were was called uh round mountain round mountain. round mountain yeah yes. beautiful beautiful property mm -hmm. and uh even though it was small they are developing more sites and most were what they were well they're all all the sites were gravel but most of them did have concrete uh picnic table area the pads and they're, they're, the areas that they're adding on are a lot more level than where we were. Um, but they're adding on, and they just, like you'll see, you saw in the video, that they, they had, what, 50, 60 cabins that they've built recently. So yeah, yeah, those cabins were cabins gorgeous. Really nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. It gave yeah. me a nice, like, farmhouse country feel in the middle of the woods. Very relaxed, very laid back, and great for family. So if you have a family, this is spring break week. Uh, or if you wanted to do a summer break week, it is the perfect place because you have those jumpy pillows, the pool, the cafes, and you're only 10 to 12 minutes from restaurants and shopping. Oh, yeah, that's what we wanted to talk about, the um, Decks and Docks place that we didn't visit. Oh, yeah, we didn't get a chance to visit that. It was a good restaurant oh, that guess. was on the water. I bet you that place is, is jumping in the summer. And, mm -hmm. and I bet and, um, where we were, it was a, looks like it would be a great place to take the, a family during the summer because the water sure. park and all that. He said it's going to be, we mentioned in the video, but it's going to be opening up for summer. Around um, Memorial around Day. Memorial Day, yeah. So all yeah. that'll be all that'll be up and going. So be sure to check them out at Great Escapes, Chestnut Bay. Uh, Great Escapes owns a lot of RV resorts and yeah. parks. So make sure you check Leesburg. for the Chestnut Bay yeah. one in Leesburg, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And then before you leave this video, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Gravely Train so you can check us out in our next stops. Because we're going to be making a few of these fun stops during the summer mm -hmm. this season. So be sure to check us out again um, real soon. And in the meantime, like I said, like us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share. Share our videos, please. Follow mm -hmm. us on Facebook. You oh, don't yeah. know how important that is. Yeah. And if you have any questions, please do drop mm -hmm. a comment. Yep. You guys are important to us, and we want to make sure you stay informed and we give you the information that you need when we visit these parks. So thank you for watching. All right, we'll see you next time. Peace.